हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ड्रॉ फॉर्जिंग द टॉपिक कवर्स इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस फॉर्थ सेमेस्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल और द मीनिंग ऑफ द ड्रॉ फॉर्जिंग ड्रॉ फॉर्जिंग इज ए मास प्रोडक्शन टेक्निक व्हिच हैमर्स द मेटल बिटवीन टू डाइज हाफ ऑफ द डाइज इज अटैच्ड टू द हैमर दैट इज अपर सेक्शन एंड द हाफ टू द एनविल दैट इज लोअर सेक्शन ऑफ द डाई द हॉट मेटल इज प्लेस्ड in the lower half of the die and the struck one on more time with the upper die his forces the metal to flow in all directions filling the die cavity excess metal squeezed out between the die faces is called flash or flashing after the forging is completed the flash is cut off in another press with a trimming die and finally the finished product produced by the uh, draw forging we can see here the parts of the forging die is here that is upper die and that is lower die and uh, that part is an anvil and in between upper die and lower die a heated workpiece placed and upper die connected with the ram that is repeating drop on the heated workpiece in metal shaping process the metal to be formed is first heated then shaped by forcing it into the contours of a die this force can be in excess of 2000 tons the draw forging process can be performed with the material at various temperatures hot forging during hot forging the metals are heated to above the recrystallization temperature the main benefit of this hot forging is that work hardening is prevented due to the recrystallization of the metal as it begins to cool cold forging cold forging is generally performed with the metal at the room temperature below the recrystallization temperature cold forging typically work hardens the metal basically two types of draw forging here the first one open die draw forging the draw forging requires the operator to position the work piece while it is impacted by the ram the die attached to the ram is usually flat or of a simple contour most of the shaping is achieved by the operator usually positioned to the work piece in a closed die forging or a impression die draw forging that draw forging comprises of a die on the anvil which resembles a mold the ram which falls and strikes the top of the metal billet can also be equipped with the die the heated metal billet is placed on the lower die while the ram drives down forcing the metal to fill the contours of the die blocks process details here uh, for the closed die forging a heated blank is placed in between two halves of a die as shown in figure that is upper die and that is lower die and heated blank in between both dies and press the upper dies to the heated blank and generate a required shape and a produce a final product of forging a single compressive stroke squeezes the blank into the die to form the part in hammer or draw forging this happens by dropping the 
top of the mold from a height. An alternative is to squeeze the molds together using hydraulic pressure. Like this figure, in the upper block that is going to have a press detail that is press and uh, uh, these are dies as shown in this figure. Once the die house have separated the part can be ejected immediately using an ejector pin that we can see that there is ejector pin that is used for the eject of the particular product from the die and here the finished part here is a finished part that produced by the drop forging the waste material flash is removed later and the extra material on this product the other product is a spanner here and that the excess material or a flash remove the trimming process and produce, produce the final finished product by this forging process advantages of the drop forging is here and the first one parts of size up to 25 tons can be produced with closed die forging closed die forging can produce near net saps that will require only a small amount of finishing economic or profitable for the large runs of the product by the drop forging forging provides superior mechanical properties or casting due to the internal grain structure formation in forged parts max a strong products by the drop forging and many metal are forged called but iron and its alloy are always forged hot the some disadvantages of the drop forging here are not very economical for short run due to the high cost of die production the business setup cost of drop forging is very high not only are the machines and furnace is costly but a special building provisions must be in place to cope with the powerful vibrations caused by drop forging a special foundation must be laid to deal with its environment drop forging presents a dangerous working environment that is big disadvantage of the drop forging process students that is the basic phenomena of the drop forging and that topic covers of the drop forging thank you